If you click this video, it's probably because you're doing some research on what power tool platform to invest into for 2022. Well, I have you know, here we do a whole bunch of tool testing. We also, on occasion, meet with the manufacturers. We get to look at their new tool offerings. Then we get their vision for the upcoming years. We sometimes also get a behind the scenes look at what might be coming to market. And we've comprised all of that knowledge and experience to come up with the top five power tool platforms you should be watching or investing in for 2022. Welcome back, my name is Vince. If this is your first time here, welcome to you especially. Number five on our list is Makita, which is a power tool brand that is known for high quality throughout the industry. And that is because they put a lot of research and development into any new releases. That also means that they don't frequently do releases or they don't do them as often as other power tool companies. That doesn't mean they don't have a full breadth of power tool offerings, they do, but they don't necessarily do upgrades as frequently as some of the competition. With that being said, Makita just released a 40 volt, 80 volt platform. It's called XGT, which allows you to power the smallest impact drivers all the way up to breakers and 14 inch demo saws, which means you'll only need one battery platform for basically the entire job site. Another great thing about Makita is that their power tool offerings generally have a lot of functionality, offer many modes, Bluetooth capability, help you to get your job done a lot faster, make you more effective, which means you'll make more money. Makita also has another battery powered tool platform, LXT. It's an 18 and 36 volt platform. And if you don't need rotary hammers or cutoff saws, you just need hammer drills and impact drivers, that might be the choice for you. But if you're looking for one battery platform to power your entire job site from the smallest tool to the biggest tools, Makita may be your brand and XGT may be your line. And if you want to find out what we found out at World of Concrete about Makita's new XGT line, go to this video over here. And remember, this is our top five list. If you disagree, you're free to go down to the comments section below and list in order your top five power tool platforms for 2022. Next up on our list is number four, which is Hilti. Now, this is not the platform that we're necessarily super excited about. It is indeed their new 22 volt platform, Neuron. Those tools seem to still be on a pre-order basis, but we got some hands-on time with them at World of Concrete for 2022. We were surprised to see such a wide array of new tools at the show, over 70 brought to market. It was amazing, especially in this time of supply chain shortages. Hilti was able to bring all those new tools to market to the show and it was amazing to see what they can power with this new 22 volt platform. Now, some of the tools run on a single 22 volt battery while others run on two batteries. The amazing part though, is that the batteries are so compact in size, but deliver so much power. We're able to power things like 12 inch cutoff saws, and once again, the most power hungry tools like breakers. Another reason that you wanna keep an eye on Hilti for 2022 is the systems that they put in place. Hilti does a great job of creating complete systems, Bluetooth capable vacuum cleaners that turn off and on as you go to work with the tools, keeping dust and particulate out of the air. OSHA 1 compliance hard hitting tools to get the job done from a reputable company that's offering you a 20 year warranty on their tools. Now, here's the downside with Hilti. Their tools can be perceived as pricey and also their availability. 
in most cases, you will need to purchase your tools from a salesperson that works directly from Healthy. There are no big box stores that I'm aware of that carry the full line of Healthy tools. You generally will have to go to your local Healthy retailer, which is a store in your larger cities. If you did have a problem where your tool went down, Hilti will ship you out overnight. In a lot of instances, we heard from viewers and users of the Hilti platform that their tool broke today and that another tool was shipped out immediately and was ready for work the next morning. It was to them by 7 a.m. on the job site, ready to go to work. The contractors didn't lose a beat. They continued their process, got their work done, which means your tools are not holding you up from getting paid. And if you wanna find out why we think Noron should be number four on this list of the top five cordless tool platforms for 2022, you should be keeping an eye on, go to this video over here. Honestly, this next choice was really debated over for a number of actually hours. And the reason is because our number two power tool platform that you should be keeping an eye on for 2022 has seemed to make a shift in their protocol. It seems that they're doing stuff that they said they might never do before. And that's coming up in just a second. Let's get on with number three, the Walt. And here it is. I'm going to honestly tell all of you, I haven't been this excited about the DeWalt platform in years. We have seen them come to market with new battery technology, more powerful and compact tools, and a numerous amount of new releases for 2022 and beyond have been shared on the internet. And when we met with the wall at Staff for 2021, if you wanted to see all of them in action, you can go over to this video here. The wall is at a point in time with their new battery technology and their new tools, kind of like over a decade ago when NICAD was the thing and NICAD was being phased out in favor for lithium ion. They're doing the same thing with their power stack lithium batteries. And the best part about that is these power stack batteries they're delivering that amperage out in a smaller size. So smaller watt hours, yes, but they're still delivering that amperage out to deliver power to larger tools. This is a 1.7 amp hour battery. It's been leaked by other great tool tubers here on the YouTube platform that there's actually a power stack five amp hour battery in the works. In addition to these power stack batteries, they have what are called flex volt batteries that operate in a 20 volt, 60 volt capacity. You're able to use that flex volt platform to power things like breakers, miter saws, table saws. High amp draw as well as higher voltages make for a very efficient battery platform. And they've been doing so much recently, I wanna to continue to keep my eye on them moving through 2022 and into 2023. It seems that they've gone from being somewhat stagnant to exploding with new offerings. Looking back to what they've done in 2021 and now into 2022, I think that they were taking their time on the R&D side, fine tuning and honing their releases, and now they're letting them out all at once. It's pretty exciting for DeWalt. I'm pretty excited. Let us know down in the comment section below. What do you think of DeWalt's new offerings? Are you as excited as I am? Let's move into number two for 2022. And until recently, when we were compiling our list, number two was actually number three. But some new developments came to light and actually pushed them into the number two spot. That platform and that tool brand is Milwaukee Tool. Now, I know I might get some hate down in the comments section below from all of you Milwaukee loyalists. Listen, there's nobody more loyal to Milwaukee than me. The M18 platform has helped me to make a living on the job site for over a decade. Here's the thing though, they had moved down to number three. It's not a, we're talking about the top five tool brands in the world. There's no bad spot on this list. And sometimes they move around because of what innovations are being made or what innovations might not be made at the time. Here's the thing, Milwaukee Tool does a great job of filling 
out their portfolio. And they've been expanding and offering multiples of the same style of tool or coming up with generation twos and threes of existing tools, which is great. Here was my negative with Milwaukee Tool and why they pushed down to number three. The inability to run those much larger tools like breakers and saws, Milwaukee Tool wanted you to adopt a second battery platform for small equipment, the MX Fuel platform. The M18 platform was only for smaller impact drivers, hammer drills, even rotary hammers. And it was that backwards incompatibility or forwards incompatibility, however you want to look at it, that moved them down to number three. The other thing was, at that point, there was no sign of them adopting stacked lithium for more amperage out to possibly power those higher draw tools on the M18 platform. It seems as though there's been a shift with the release of Milwaukee Tools M18 lawnmower and now their newer vacuum cleaners. If you wanted to find out more about the vacuum cleaners, you can go right here. But these new tool offerings from Milwaukee Tool, they run on two M18 batteries. So are we moving into what would be known as the M36 platform? They could only run on two M18 batteries. That means they're 36 volts. There's no option to run them on a single 18 volt battery. So literally we have a new battery platform for Milwaukee somewhere in between M18 and MX Fuel. This list is of the tool companies, top five, that we should be keeping an eye on. We want to look and research and keep continue to look at their, these tools, their offerings, and that shift in itself is a good reason for you to do that with Milwaukee Tool. Leave it down in the comment section below. If there isn't a tool on M18 or M12 that you need that you can't get, we want to hear about it. And finally, we come to number one on our list of the top five cordless battery tool platform manufacturers who you should be looking at for 2022. Now, we deliberated over this for quite a while to arrive at this decision. We met with their experts. While we were with them, they talked about their vision for their platform, what they planned on doing. They even confirmed what we had leaked previously about upcoming battery technology that was similar to DeWalt. Stacked lithium for their platform. Wanted to find out how that stacked lithium works, why you should be so excited, and be keeping an eye on that battery technology, you go to that video over there. But at this point, I'm sure you're well aware that number one on our list is Flex. And the reason we're so excited to see what they're going to be doing for 2022 is because their initial offerings were unbelievably stellar performers, hammer drills, impact drivers, bested the top in the industry, blew them out of the water. What could these tools do with stack lithium. More importantly, what tools would they be willing to offer if they had larger stack lithium batteries? Will this platform include larger small equipment like demo saws, breakers, larger vacuums, lighting solutions? We want to keep an eye. With all that being said, there is a negative to Flex. That platform hasn't expanded out just yet. It might not offer you the tools you need to complete your job. They are priced very competitively. Their performance is pretty much second to none. And that's the reason why you should be keeping an eye on them. A lot of people were concerned with their initial launch. And some people had told us they spoke with store managers at Lowe's Home Improvement. Those store managers said that Flex was being canceled or discontinued for 2022. We reached out to Flex. They shared with us in this video, not only was Flex not being canceled, they felt that their initial launch exceeded their expectations. And it was so great that they were going to be having a face-off too, where I'm sure they're gonna have a whole bunch of new tools. They're gonna put them up against the closest competitors. We are going to watch that during the live stream. We want you to join us on March 7th. We can watch it together. Hopefully they'll expand the line greatly, but it's, it's definitely the number one tool brand 
that you should be keeping an eye on through 2022, in my opinion, after our extensive research and meeting with the companies and compiling the list. Leave it down below if you agree or disagree with my list. If you do, write agree. If you disagree, put your top five in the comments below. And remember, competition is always good for the consumer. It drives up quality, brings down costs, and you get more for your money. Who wouldn't like that? Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy, and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.